What's going on guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and I can't believe it. We've beaten Wigan. We've got to the final of the FA Cup. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've got to say going into this game, I wasn't all that optimistic. But you know what? We've come through in the end. We've done it. It wasn't a pre-performance at all. And we've gone on to get through to the final and I'm just, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. It's just been such a great day. The Wembley atmosphere, it's been an overall a great day out and I just I couldn't I couldn't be happier it's just been a really really great day for any Arsenal fan that was there today um, before I analyze the game I've just got to say absolutely massive well done to Wigan because uh, in all honesty it was a bonus for them to get to this point in the FA Cup but they've done extremely well to get there They're, the focus for them of course is to get promotion and I'm really confident they're gonna do it they're a team that I'd love to see back in the Premier League and uh, their manager is doing an absolutely fantastic job of the club. They fought really well today. They fought really well throughout this whole tournament, beating a couple of Premier League clubs on the way. They're a fantastic team. They've got an excellent chairman as well. And I wish them all the best in their hunt to get back to the, to, uh, to, um, back to the Premier League table. Anyway, the focus, of course, today on Arsenal. The pressure was all on us today. And I think you could really tell that going into this game. And before I talk about anything else as well, the Arsenal lineup was actually one that really surprised me going into this game. Sonogo starting was the big one for me. I know I previewed that I wanted him to start, and I honestly was really pleased to actually see him start in the game. But in the back of my mind, I was always expecting Venk to start Giroud because it would have been a massive game for Sonogo to play. And I've got to say, he handled the pressure well. You've got, even though he did squander a whole load of chances, and today it really did echo why we need. Um, a world class striker because we could have won this game by a shed load of goals given the opportunities that the likes of Sonogo got in in this game and missed but you've got to say he's a young boy he he did miss a load of chances but the pressure on him today and the whole club in general was absolutely massive and I thought he soaked it up really well and it's a big ask for him to go out in an FA Cup semi-final and play the full game so I've got to give credit to him although he did miss a lot of chances. And the most important thing with Sonogo for me, uh, he gave 110% in the game. That's all I wanted to see. His heart was in it, his head was in it, and he just gave absolutely everything. But looking at the game itself, I mean, I think we gave Wigan an awful lot of respect, maybe a little too much respect going into this game. We laid off them quite a bit. We didn't play imaginative football. We did look really dull at times. We didn't look like scoring at all in the first half especially. And um, you would think the likes of Ramsey and Chamberlain would make us an awful lot more dynamic. And you kind of think that those were the only two players in the team really with the desire to go forward. No one else really showed that. And that's what really frustrated me, especially Arteta. He's probably the most frustrating player on the pitch to watch. I think he did have a better game than he did um, at Everton the other week. But it's the sideways passing, the backwards passing. It's like a dagger through my heart every time he does that. And you could argue that he did his defensive duties well today, which he did. Um, but I would love to see a bit more ima imagination from him, especially going forward. And he has to be playing it forward, not backwards. Because we get these lovely counter-attacks going. And you can bet nine times out of ten when Arteta gets the ball, it's going either sideways or backwards. And that is just, it's a massive frustration for me. But anyway, that first half, I've got to say, to say the least, I was disappointed. I was expecting us to get a goal, and we did have a couple of good opportunities through Sonogo, but unfortunately we couldn't take them, and we were going into the second half, nil-nil, and it just really annoyed me that we weren't willing to take risks in this game. Wigan, although they did defend extremely well in this game, they weren't offering anything up top either, and, that, and that's where I think we really could have got them. On the break as well, these lovely breaks we had, and then someone would just give it away. And Cazorla, he was one that was really running into players. I don't know why he does that. I thought Cazorla was actually decent today. But quite a few times, he just happens to run into players and lose the ball. And quite a few of our players do that. But nonetheless, we did look, at, we did look a, a lot better in that second half. Um, but it really did take a goal conceded to actually wake us up. And the way the goal was conceded, I mean, it was a, um, it was a foul by Mertzaka. You've got to be honest. Gomez took the penalty exceptionally well and uh, we were 1-0 down and it took that to wake us up. And I think one massive change that influenced Arsenal, and I hate to say that an injury is a blessing in disguise, but in this case it really was. Um, Gibbs coming on for Monreal, I thought Gibbs was a massive influence in the game today. I thought going forward he did exceptionally well, I thought his defensive duties uh, were extremely good. And I think that we have a certainty with Gibbs that kind of nothing's going to go wrong because he... 
he, uh, he, like, he's been our unsung hero for the whole season and he showed today why he is so crucial to the team. And you know he's another guy that's always going to give 110% in the game. He even came close to scoring today. He's a player that has got a massive desire um, that he wants to go on and win this trophy. And I think it was huge that he came on in this game. And I really think he should have started the game because he looked perfectly fine to me. And if he's fine, he should be starting the game. Um... But he didn't, and I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like I'm landing to Monreal because I thought he, he didn't do anything wrong today. It's just that we have a real certainty with Gibbs that nothing is going to go wrong. Um, but after the, we conceded the goal, we kept plucking away, we kept trying to uh, score against them, and we did have an awful lot of good chances. I mean, Sanya hit the post, an awful lot of corners came in, and I still have to say, from the corners and set pieces, we're still not doing enough, in my opinion. We just, all these balls that go in, they're not getting past the first man, or we haven't got someone that's going in to win, and we lose too many of these 50-50 chances in the air, and that's another thing that frustrates me. But thank God we did get a goal through Mertzaka. I think we've got to give a bit of praise to Sonogo here. Held up the ball extremely well, laid it off to Chamberlain, who actually mishit it. Uh, Mertzaka, absolutely well on side, put it in the back of the net. 1-1, one, one, and we honestly could have gone on and got 2-1, because we just looked so much more confident after that. We looked more creative, we, we had so much more imagination, and we were making these lovely attacking moves, but unfortunately, Wigan, I've got to say, they did defend well, saw it out to extra time, and more of the same in extra time, really. We did give our all. Wigan, the only way they were going to score against us in extra, in extra time was um, through a counter-attack, but I, I thought we defended extremely well today, uh, apart from the goal conceded, of course, but that was a one-off thing. Um, we, it went to penalties, which wasn't ideal because I've got I've got to say when it comes to penalties, I'm probably one of the biggest pessimists out there. I always worry, especially after that Bradford defeat, especially against lower league opposition. I just hate penalties with Arsenal because you never know if they're going to bottle it or what players are going to take it. And I thought Wenger had the um, penalty takers ideal. I mean, you had specialists in the likes of Arteta and Kalstrom who took their penalties extremely well. Um, Kazola, the finishing penalty, absolute class. But the man of the hour, our absolute hero today, and throughout this whole tournament, Lucas Fabianski. I can't give the guy enough praise. He was absolutely phenomenal today throughout the whole game, saving two penalties in the shootout. It takes an awful lot of guts to do that, an awful lot of character, and he pulled it off splendidly. And no Arsenal player deserves this trophy more than him. And if he is going to leave us at the end of the season, I really hope we win it. Uh, purely for him, because he just gives absolutely everything in every game he's played for us. And I'd like to see him play a few more games before he leaves us, if he leaves us, because I would love to see him um, sign a new contract with Arsenal. And I, we've won his game, and the end of the, the celebrations at the end, I love the passion from every single player there, because they just showed how much it means. Wenger, I was just so glad to see that smile back on his face, because we haven't seen that in so long. And yeah, we have only beaten Wigan. But let's be honest, they were probably the second toughest team to face uh, out of the last four. And I think we've done extremely well to beat them today. And no, it wasn't a pretty performance. But you've got to win ugly. We've achieved our, obje achieved our objective of getting to the final of this tournament. And you know what? I honestly believe we're going to go on and win this. We can beat Hull. We can beat Sheffield. We're going to have Ozil, Wilshere, Koscielny back for that game. And there is no reason why we can't do it. Anyway, leave your thoughts on the game in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you click the like button. Um, I've done a match day experience of this that's going to be coming out on my channel, AFC Game by Game, shortly. So make sure you go and check that out. And as always, thanks for watching, guys, and we're going to win the FA Cup.